show is one of the things I will watch. Yeah. It's, I'm on one now, um, Hinterland. Oh, yes, I, yes. This is Young Wallander, and that's the actor. I'll send it to you. Um, well, I can do it right there. Downstairs. Mine's about dead. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Andrea and Stacy show. I'm Andrea. My phone's over there. Yes, it is. And I'm Stacy. And we thought we had mic trouble, and then we realized that the sound on the computer just wasn't. We're just bad. jaded. We like are. you said, jaded. <laughs> wasn't there a song about that? Yes. What was that song? I remember it was really popular. Uh, Should I turn the air conditioner off? Uh, I can't. Oh, the remote's there. I just didn't know if it would bother so both people. Wait, Megan. Jaded. Uh, looking for an older song. Because this is what you want to tune into on YouTube is people just Googling on their phones. Yep. <laughs> Basically any get together. I've it's been like to. family dinners, <laughs> church events, <laughs> movies. <laughs> This is what takes place. Okay. I'll do that before I get it. Go huh. ahead and clear out my mail because that's my thing. I don't see one, but there is one. Like, I'm so jaded or so mm -hmm. jaded or. So, what'd you do today? I had plans. But I set those aside and did nothing. <laughs> well, Dean and I had our typical Monday lunch at La Fiesta. Nice. And then our Monday run to Atwoods. Okay. Came home. He worked on the garden a little bit. I went for a walk around the block. I hadn't done that in a while. I don't know how I got out of the swing of it. But... I'm going to play the song. I don't want to interrupt do it. you, but do it. I have to open YouTube and probably play a YouTube video. YouTube will take us down. It will take us oh, down. No, you oh, play I anything. was like, I would love if we got censored. It means that someone, <laughs> someone's actually, yeah, you're going to die. Uh, you're going to die when you hear it. Mm -hmm. Carol Smith. Sarah Smith, yes. <laughs> See, that's probably enough to get us taken down, but let me skip to some voices. Internet's been so shoddy. We lost power today. Yeah. I'm a jaded you. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Man, people are being taken down left and right. Other creators are taking down other creators, reporting them oh for copyright. I'm telling you, if you're one of those people, I, I don't know what to think about you. If, if you're, you got your own thing and it's going good, yeah. but yet in your spare time, you feel like you've got <laughs> to search through everybody else's stuff. Why don't you just get a new hobby and start correcting people's spelling? Yeah, that would be or great. grammar. You can or start on my website. <laughs> <laughs> Go drive around your town, see who needs to mow their lawn, and stick a <laughs> sign in the yard. I mean, there's all kinds of jobs for you, except <laughs> hanging around trolling the internet all day. You could even be that guy that leaves notes when people park out of between the lines. Yeah. Where did people think that they were the clever and cool and non-asshole when, when they started doing that? I don't know. And the thing is, if you... it. YouTube tells you who submitted uh -huh. the copyright. So if you're an artist, somebody uses your stuff for three seconds in a 13 minute video and, and your name is on your mm -hmm. art. They didn't cut that out, manipulate, you know, they just mm -hmm. used it. Um, do you really have, I don't know, five to $15,000 to go to court when they take them to court for wrongful takedown of a video because all they had to do was reach out and say hey don't use my stuff and most likely the guy would take it off change it block it out you know or, or be flattered yeah that they used your yeah. stuff I yeah mean, i want to tell you when you create something and you put it out there 
you've resigned. Yeah. Like it's intense. Ooh, okay. So you were telling me about the music industry. Was that you telling me how they sign their life? Oh yeah. Away. About like okay. a million dollars. It's not you, that you earn a million dollars. You just went into a million dollars of debt. Yeah. When you sign that first <clears throat> contract, they give you money up front, but you have to spend however many times or, you know, however many years or whatever it takes to re earn that money for them. You call it indentured servitude. Yeah. That's what to it be is. More specific. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You've entered a, a debt contract. What I didn't know is authors are the same. When you, I read a guy, there's a, a guy who self publishes and he said, you can get that um, $10,000 check or more because they're willing to roll the dice that they'll make a certain percent off of your book mm -hmm. and that, and it makes you an, a published author because a publishing house published you mm -hmm. and you got this check but you sold your rights to the thing that you've put your blood, sweat, and tears in and your baby, every one of them is your baby, I would imagine. And um, you have no rights to that anymore for, you know, 10 or $100,000. And if they decide not to promote it or not to pr print it, that's their deal, depending on whatever your contract <clears throat> is with you. So he is all about um, self-publication to yeah. take the long road sure and get your book out there yourself to the niches that yeah. would appreciate it. And then that it. way, if a major publisher wants to come, you know, Boost. to you to get it, yeah. you already know what you've got. You can put yeah. that real price value on there and you can be restrictive yeah. about what they can do with it. He said it boils but, down to asking yourself, mm -hmm. do you want to take the long road and be proud mm -hmm. of the accomplishment that you've done, whether you sell many books or not, or do you just want the, I'm a published author. If I was writing so romance novels, I'd pre-sell them. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, really. Yeah. But if you're actually genuinely doing something with your heart in it, I, you know, I've been tossing the idea around along with all the other ideas <laughs> up there, but if you could write a, um, and it's kind of off of a, a zine mm -hmm. basis theory type thing. But if you could write like a six page pamphlet on how to plant a seed, really basic stuff, how to sew on a button, specifically just a button mm -hmm. from threading the needle to sewing on the button to trimming it at the end, how to do all those simple little things and then compiled it into not a survival guide, but you know, they come up with those little, I don't want it to have the word survival in it, but just like helpful hints and charge just a dollar or two for them. And you just did like line art of a hand and a button. Mm -hmm. Um, shoot. You could even take photographs if I could find anybody with panic fingernails, but not me. Um, and you could attach a small video to it. That would be huge. For be good information. Yeah. Every, just Everybody everything. How to make sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Like, as long and as everybody they can would have, say, oh, well, there's a YouTube video for that. But let me tell you about YouTube videos. Yeah. Two 15, 20 second introduction with terrible music. Yes. Five minutes of you explaining After what you're going to do. The two minutes of commercials that you can't opt out of because I won't pay you to watch YouTube. Um, and you could go to Wikipedia, right? Or not. Is it, what is that one where it's like, 12 simple steps with pictures. I can't think, but it pops up usually in the top of a search on how to do stuff. That's the same thing. You miss. scroll through 15 yeah. things of ads and then you missed a step because yeah. you didn't. Yeah. You know. No, just I have, straightforward information. It's needed. Just yeah. like phone books, honestly, are needed again. I mean, I'm telling you. Now, I will say for personal, I don't want my name in a phone book with my cell phone number on it. No, I'm not saying like that. But I, I would appreciate like if businesses went ahead and pick out, you know, ads, ads yeah. so I could pick up like yeah. my area yes. and look for a plumber. Yeah. Not just Google it. Because and find our area that paid for an ad. Right. Our area is so small. Anyway, we get Oklahoma City and Lawton, mm -hmm. and I know there's a hundred plumbers in Jigsaw. Yeah. Or an electrician, you know, because like a like a guy who does fence building in his spare time, right? I mean, yeah. he can't take out thousands of dollars of internet ads and filter through 
thousands of calls that aren't really specifically geared to what he can do and is needed. But if he could take out a small ad that says small fence building less than, you know, five acres or something like yeah. that, it would be useful. Um, That's called WikiHow. WikiHow. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking of. I said Wikipedia. Yeah. We've given too much power to these. Man, I have been trying on the weekends to leave it in another room. And then check it. And I deleted my text off my computer because it was like 32 gig. But I had text from 2011. So I deleted those, the whole thing off my computer. Yeah. Um, because I get a text here, pops up on my laptop, pops up on my big computer. Big computer? <laughs> it is big. Like the big TV. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't I, have a big TV, you're not from around these parts. That's right. Got a small TV and the kitchen TV and the bedroom TV. Little TV sits on top of the deep freeze. <laughs> That's the old TV. <laughs> yeah. The VHS tape slips right in the bottom of it. Yeah. Oh. Jeff's so excited he got a fire stick and canceled their cable or whatever we had. Suddenlink. Let me know how he likes it. So far, he's in love with it. That's I good. keep getting these purchases from Amazon for zero amount for... HBO and mm -hmm. you know but that means I have I, I very rarely watch any television I use my TV mostly for like a big computer monitor like yeah. just Netflix and Amazon and I our t I'm the one that uses the actual TV in our house and I turn it on when I'm at home with like me and the dogs and it's just background noise yeah and um other than that like sometimes gene if we're like watch if we're eating dinner we'll yeah watch a show yeah like a short show it's not even like a movie it's just an episode of whatever we've come across and that is it yeah that's it um, jeff watches football but he can do that on a fire stick mm -hmm. so I, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate them, especially, you know, when Kimber was little. No, oh, man. TV is worth the thing because, but now she's disinterested. She doesn't want anything really? on the TV. She wants it on her phone or her iPad. Yeah. My sister's kids, same way. They don't look at their TV. I used to watch movies on my phone. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I, I just can't do it anymore. It was just easier. A video or a vlog or something I could watch because they're 30 minutes you know but I used to lay in bed and start a some series I would be watching and just let it play until yeah. I fell asleep and um, I, I thought I'm going to at least watch it on my 11 inch screen on my laptop and then you're sitting there only if there was a way to make this bigger <laughs> and I didn't have to hold it <laughs> The de-evolution of mankind. <laughs> oh, wow. man. I just need it to project. I just, I mean, come on. I saw somebody wrote a post. I don't know who they were. And I'll repeat it and I'll be completely wrong. But the gist of it was, um, if you're not from Oklahoma, like, because you know a lot of people are moving inward. Yeah. And I said, if you're not from Oklahoma, um, just a fair warning, we went from Concealed carry to open carry to constitutional carry in just a very short amount of time. That means for all the other people, there's some states that don't do those things, uh -huh. you know. But in Oklahoma, if you got a gun, you walk around with it and yeah, you don't care. Any gun. And um, unless you're a felon. Yeah. You know. It can't be fully right. automatic. Um, but, and then our speed limits, like, they just, for no reason, raised them to 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Nobody knows why. And then I saw the official explanation. What was the it? Turnpike Authority did an average of what people drive. And people are just driving faster these days, they said. So, <laughs> best thing to do is make the signs match that. <laughs> well, I knew that's how things got changed. We'd just be going back and forth on the right. highway. We yield to the masses here in Oklahoma. <laughs> Not the law. It's majority rule. Except for when they surprise us all with that dang loco. 
the pre-coronavirus. Yeah, like, I think it was the thing that Canada did it. Everyone's blaming China. We all know it came from that that firm in Canada that designed it for the Oklahoma logo. <laughs> the last piece in the puzzle when that got stuck up there on the bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it immediately just. Do you know what we do, like, collectively as a state about um, coronavirus precautions? What? Nothing. (laughs) Some individual businesses and cities have their own thing in place, but Oklahoma, we're okay. And when when the White House said we came in fifth, um, our, yeah. our mayor, I mean, our governor, governor was like, uh-uh, we really came in 14th, but it was fifth in a certain age group or something, yeah. but he like totally slapped that down. Yeah. But you know, um, for deaths, we're still pretty stinking low. Do you yeah. know why? Why? Cause we're used to not having health care. <laughs> you want to tell the story about your cousin, Stacy? <laughs> I don't want to call out any names, but you tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't pay attention to expiration dates on food. No. If it smells good, it's In the probably store, fine. They sell expired food. <laughs> they do, because even they know it's still probably okay. <laughs> They'll reduce it for you. But you can't poach here. They'll get you for that. But should have a deer happen to drop dead on your own (laughs) land, but with no one around. I mean, they're only kidding because you're. Then you're smart enough to take the whole deer, not just cut the head off. They only get you because you're a dumb poacher. Yeah, because you haven't honed your skills yet. Mm Mm-hmm. Telling you, and you don't see a lot of deer left on the side of the road around here after they get hit by a car either. No, we have real skinny. Literally had to talk my husband them. out of picking one up one time. Well, you know, <laughs> it would have made a mess in the car. Oh, so oh, he was strapped it to the top of the car because <laughs> he has a tag flopping from like the ear. <laughs> My Macy's department store owner <clears throat> tagged it. Nothing to see here, folks. It fell off that truck in front of us. We were just trying <laughs> we were to, catch, trying to up. catch up. Yeah. So that's how we roll here. And that's okay. Yeah. I but think that's why we do so well. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. And we stick up for our own. And we don't even like our own. We don't. <laughs> we stick up for them. <laughs> oh man, That's I've great. witnessed that. Yeah, we're a good state. We are a good state. We're good people. It's hot up here. It is hot up here. Air's not moving. It's stuffy. It's thundering. Is it okay? Gene said it was gonna rain tonight and all day tomorrow. Maybe that's why sometimes we're shaking. It's way, way off, but I can just barely hear it. That's probably why sometimes we're shaking. I really thought it was the June bug, but oh, maybe well, it, was it could have been a combination of the two. Hmm. We better, we better. I think we should wrap it up mm-hmm. because we're already we lost power. Else. Yeah. <laughs> you guys.